I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but man, my shit was going fucking crazy. <laughs> man, I was like, what the fuck's going on? Man, it was swapping from scene to scene to scene to scene to scene. I was like, what's going on here, man? What's going on? I thought I was tripping balls, but I finally got it. It it was something something was going on with it. Anyway, I'm your main man, Mikey D, a.k.a. Stony Mike, and welcome to Jurassic Falls. <laughs> We're going to be playing some Jurassic World Evolution 2. Oh yeah, we're going to be playing it. I got some mods on here, I don't know if they're working or not, that's why I'm mainly, so I'm just going to be fucking around to see if those work or not. Um... Supposed to have a dragon. Hi, ah, it's a dragon. So hopefully, hopefully that's what's gonna go down. Play around with a dragon. <laughs> it was ice. And that's what I call high quality H2O. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> I'm feeling some kind of hyper right now. I had me a nice energy filled drink. Now uh, nice ice cold water. It's got me all nice and alive and awake. So uh, oh it's not even on here. There we go. So I'm playing in uh, sandbox mode. Hopefully, hopefully, I can fucking have a dragon. It's not 110% sure yet. I don't know if it works. I do know that as soon as I started, it said, hey, you gotta. You got a fucking mod activated to be sure to know that that's going to fuck your shit up. I was like, okay, cool. Cool beans. It's it's working. Uh, the last time I tried to use a mod on here, I didn't get that response in any way. So something is working. Something. I don't know what that something is. It could be just the fucking codes that I had to put in. I had to put in some kind of extra coding into the files. I don't know what the fuck that shit was. But I had to do that in order for the mod to actually work. It's probably just some secondary binary shit that somebody had to write up in order for the file to... Because it's supposed to be the actual dragon from ARK. Which is cool. I'm cool with that. I like that dragon. That was a really cool dragon. Because the dragon from Ark is uh, the boss. Because uh, the things that you can actually get in Ark are werevans. 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 However you say that word. I'm from the south, so we just say things however it looks like it sounds. And we go with it. Very simple people. <laughs> Man, I started using a new butane with my torch. It's, uh, I've used it before, but only a few times compared to the one that I normally get. But this one, it shoots out like plasma. Like it, sh it shoots out just like some kind of like super hot shit. It don't take but a second for it to get cherry. Actually, you know what? Since it's already cherry, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice toasting to clear out any excess that's been sitting there and just getting... Cause I don't know if y'all can see it, but every now and then it'll catch on fire. Like the top will actually go boop. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> That means there's some kind of excess oil that has burnt into, like, nothing you want. 
you don't want to ingest it in any form or fashion. The best thing to do is burn that shit out. Burn it out. Turn this motherfucker into a red hot cherry. It'll eventually get there. My fucking eye keeps twitching. Don't know what the fuck is causing it, but my eye twitches. Actually, I, if I remember correctly, last summer it started twitching too, and, and maybe some kind of seasonal allergy or some shit that's causing it. Cheers, motherfuckers! You barely see it up there in that corner. Boom. There we go. With the dimming of the lights and the changing of the scene. Let's get on in to something a little obscene. Oh shit, I'm a poet and you didn't know it. And that's a damn crime that most of y'all came around. Oh shit! <coughs> that bitch is coming back at me! Oh! I hate it when dad was like, come back to haunt you. You think they're gone, and then they come right back in. Anyway. Is this not fucking showing? Why is it still saying that? No. Go over. You fool. Oh, I know why it was, uh... I'm on the wrong scene collection altogether. Durr. Durr. Anyway. <laughs> I was on... It, it don't matter. It really don't matter. Okay. So... It's supposed to take over the skin of the Andamans. I'm gonna have to work my way up to that. But for now, let's see what we got to work with here. Is this all that there is? Or will I be able to like buy into something? I'm just gonna assume this is all there is, so. I'm gonna put the main starting point like somewhere like right here. But okay. Um <clears throat> let's see, we're gonna start with monorail. Okay. Let's Give it this kind of entrance, shall we? Do regular pass.
facility paths. I'm gonna put all try to put all the facility buildings in this general area over here. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. We'll, we'll do a little bit of everything. These are the three different, like, eras that they allow you to do. That's cool. That's cool. Alright. I was sitting there like, well, wait a minute, what is it? Because I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what that sim, like, that just don't look familiar to me. So I'm assuming that's, like, one of the, uh, other group symbols that were involved in the other movies. I'm, I'm assuming anyway. So I get that. That's the Jurassic World stuff. That's the Jurassic Park stuff. So I'm assuming that's like the Lost World other engine people. Could even be that DPS or whatever they are called. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna use these Jurassic World stuff because it's more modern looking. I want this to be. Well, actually, no, I'll do a little bit of both. Do a little bit of both. We'll, we'll do a little bit of both. Just a little bit of both. Uh, the arrival point from the Jurassic World, so this one will be this one. Uh, control Center, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do the Control Center. So, uh, we go right there. Come on, you little fuck, fuck. Ah, that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get it. I'm trying to make this as aesthetic as possible. Yeah. Alrighty. Now that path just looks all kinds of goddamn Kelly Wampus. I don't like it. I don't like it not one bit, and I don't think anybody else should like it. That's better than the what they did. I mean, it's got an elbow to it now. <laughs> Well, maybe we can put some, uh, some, some benches or something down there. Some, no, I don't think they allow that, do they? Do they got something like that? Come on, you gotta have something. A fountain. Yeah, I'll just put a fucking fountain there. Man! <laughs> Alrighty. I don't know why I made that Wario sound. Or Waluigi sound. <laughs> that I've gotten to the habit of just doing that when I fucking get excited about something. Uh, more operations. Okay, so now we'll do the visitor center. Which will be for people <clears throat> Let's see. 
now for the Science Center is going to be uh, Jurassic World. And it's like right there. Why didn't it just make a path? Not making any sense. I have unlimited. <laughs> This I'm gonna have attached closer to this because we're gonna be expanding out that way with the park. I said out that way, like like <laughs> like fucking somebody knew what I was talking about. Oh god. It's gonna be crooked, but it is what it is. <clears throat> okay. And now, where are we? What are we gonna do here? I think the mod is fucking it up. Cause like why else would I do that? Oh. That might be why. That might be why. <laughs> Oh. 
Well, I'm out of my mind. I didn't have no scientists. <laughs> Some very weak ass staff for anyway. Because I still have one scientist left. I could do something, but. I'm going ahead and getting all this research done and out of the way just so that way I can just have fun and just build what I need to build. Why does it need three? Good God. All right, I need to build a staff center.
Hell yeah, I can get more scientists. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Is she... I mean, I don't... Like, I know it... You know, I know it usually only gives the best, but... <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure. Because sometimes they throw you a little trick in games like this. They'll get you used to a little pattern of things. And then they just fuck you all the hell and back with a... Uh, scientist, that's not that great in this case. Let's see. <clears throat> reason why is because it's gonna go like right um, in this area somewhere like before it gets into the actual park itself <clears throat> I'm gonna make this like uh, the staff section over here and this section right over here is gonna be like the guest areas and then the park it's going to stretch throughout this way. And there will be places, <clears throat> you know, and, you know, guest stuff on the inside, but not as much. Because I want it to be kind of mainly, because I want there to be a ride through as well. I think that's something that's really cool for this part, or for the game that they've added. The little... Little ride. I know they had the gyrosphere in the first one, but in this one they actually have the uh, car ride that they would have in the first Jurassic Park movie. I think that's cool as fuck. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, what should we do now? We're still continuing the research, I believe, until we get to a certain degree of it anyway. <clears throat> Bring 
There we go. Alright, so in order to get up into here, I gotta start a dinosaur fight club. <laughs> Essentially, I need to start a dinosaur fight club, so I'm gonna do that. But, uh, like I said, it's gotta, it's gotta look aesthetic. Like, I, I'm going for a certain aesthetic anyway. So, uh, let's go ahead and get the guest attractions that I'm wanting to get. Uh, So I actually have to have a type of dinosaur species going before I can actually start doing any of that. Alright, well, what I'll do is... Uh, so yeah, in order to get that going, I'm, I'm going to have to unlock by getting one dinosaur at least. That's... Oh man, I didn't mean to do that path either. Now let's see, the welcome center that I wanted is right here. I'll put it right here. Let's go to the research. Be sure to Oh, I know what the first one I can do. The first one I can do will be, uh, yeah, marine reptile. I 
I want to have that right off the bat. Just have like a small little marine reptile area. Right, right behind here. I think right behind here would be the best place for it, actually. That's relatively decent enough. <laughs> I like the idea of that one. <clears throat> Alrighty, so now I need to send these guys out on an expedition. Looks like I'm having a Nessie. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally gonna. I'm gonna name. I'm gonna name that bitch Nessie as soon as it comes out. Bet money. Hell yeah, I completed it. That's what I was that's what I was wanting to do was complete a couple of these uh was the I can't remember if the demo for them is the I can't remember if that's the one I was 
That might be a different one. Yeah, that's a damn flyer, but it's all good. Aha! Buried treasure. I've heard a lot about you, so here's a little about me. I'm Isaac Clement, but just call me Isaac, no need for formalities. Besides, in the park, we've got to watch each other's backs. Now, people think we're in the dinosaur game, but the truth is, we're entertainers, and our headliners traveled 65 million years to make the show. So let's make it a good one. The dinosaurs definitely bring the wow factor, but we can make that even bigger with better attractions. Oh yeah, that's what I was wanting to do. I was wanting to create, unlock all these damn jeans. See what we can do. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Two of those, and then I'll do a pod of uh, the um, the icky sore. I always call them icky sores. I don't know what the fuck how to say that. I'd have to sit and stare at it for a minute.
bit. Another creature from the ancient oceans. This time a plesiosaurus. It has a flat body, an elongated tail, and four powerful flippers that and help Bessie. it glide through the water. Like modern day sea mammals, it has to come up for Bessie air. and Bessie. It oh fuck, I forget spends I... its time surfing and eating, which is not a bad way to live. <laughs> I forget I have uh I have hotkeys that uh when I'm typing it'll fucking send the damn scene over. Might be. <laughs> so. And let's see what we're going to do. once ruled the earth, other animals ruled the seas. Take the Ichthyosaurus, a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Oh, I need to go in. They have a large dorsal fin, much like a dolphin. Or actually more like a shark. That's not what they're looking for, though. Yeah. All right, hold up. I need to, uh, I need to rethink what I'm doing here. <clears throat> We want the park to be as new and upgraded as possible. The more buildings, the better. The better the buildings, also the better.
Okay, now... I just need to get them their food, that's what they're freaking out about, and... I think... The best way to go about it... Would be to create a small... Piscivor. Oh, that fucker died. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I can recreate it. It's uh fuck. That sucks though. This one. Um, I don't know what the fuck they think that is, and isn't, that's a fucking Piscivore, that's a fucking Piscivore, so I don't know what the fuck they think of that shit is, but. Claire Deering. I'm extremely passionate about the dinosaurs and about our responsibility to take care of them. Now, you'd think a mouthful of teeth would be scary enough, but this animal, the Dimorphodon, actually has two distinct types of teeth in its jaws. And it flies. Well, more accurately, glides. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, why is it not? Yeah, you know what? On route to pick up the asset. in the air. Asset being transported.
Why does it not have access? So fucking, what is going on? That's some weird shit. Exactly. You can't put a fucking gate on there. <laughs> oh man. I swear there's like, there's something that I'm needing to like either research or something. I forget what it is, but. You know what? It's alright because some big dogs are about to come in. source <laughs> Nothing. I knew it. I knew that wasn't gonna get me anything.
Want these bad boys nice and good and upgraded so that way when I do finally start my Jurassic Fight Park that I'm gonna have to create because I'm gonna that's just it's inevitable. Velociraptor is now complete. Can't I though? Right. 
It's weird. It's like something is stopping. Nothing gets past me, especially mistakes. Make sure you're paying attention to the details or you'll be hearing from me. Who am I? Dr. Henry Wu. Death is inevitable for all creatures, but we lose more with a dinosaur, in science and in our investment. The loss is incalculable. Sand. Actually, let's go here. Wrong thing. Okay, that should be good. What? One of them has a spine. Oh, I did it automatically. Alright, cool. Is it saying can't reach its destination? That's what's pissing me off. Is it like stuck on the inside of it somewhere? Like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, it's stuck on the inside of it. Holy fuck. Okay. So. Move the fuck out of the way, dude. Jesus Christ. That is absolutely wild. Now don't get stuck in there, my guy. Please do not get stuck in there. That's why the fucking dinosaurs died. Because, look, what is this? What is this? What is this that you're doing?
Alright. <laughs> now we're about to make shit really fucking pop off in that bitch. Wait a minute. They're gonna make the Mosasaurus. Bright as green. Long lived. Social. Tolerant. And that bad boy is, should be ready to go. <laughs> so when people come to the park, they want to learn something, sure, but they also want to be entertained. And this marine reptile, the Mosasaurus, is just that, a showstopper. If the T-Rex is the ruler of the dinosaurs on land, then the Mosasaurus holds that title below the waves. Make sure this animal is a premium attraction. Moses was his name. Oh, he's content because he has the shark, right? Yeah, he's got the shark. Doesn't have that much of open space, but he's alright. He'll be alright. Yeet! <laughs> Did it rip its head off? Fuck yeah, it, dude. They're like, yeah, he ain't gonna come back for the rest of that. Collecting asset. Now, Asset transit.
just a small little something something. Gonna make him tolerant. This one right here, this one right here. This group is going to be just a normal group. Oh, wait a minute. Discard those. Just normal looking anywhere. We'll go with uh, that variant right there. Everyone knows I have a soft spot for this dinosaur, the Velociraptor, and they get a bad rap as far as I'm concerned. But if you imprint early enough, you can make real connections with them. Other than Claire, raptors are the most intelligent partners I've ever had. And like her, they could kill me in the blink of an eye. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. And that should be good on that. They're not going to get that much open space and forest at the same time. Or should I look on that? But that's good enough.
Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, folks, that's where I'm going to call it. You guys stay nice and stony. By the next time we are playing Jurassic Farce, <laughs> we will see some dramatic changes. Because I will be playing this in my own time. You guys stay nice and stony. Peace.